I'm trying to uh, get ready here. I'm going to uh, prepare uh, again arroz caldo or lugao that I will be uh, uh, distributing and feeding in. Uh, at Hopefully, I can I can feed at least 50 mouths, 50 hungry mouths who are uh, victims of uh, the floods recently and are still in the evacuation center somewhere in Pasig. Uh, right now, I'm here in my condo unit in Eastwood City, in Libis, Quezon City, and I am waiting for my assistant to come over any moment from now. While waiting for him, uh, I might as well prepare the ingredients for the Luga, of course. Uh, we have uh, our Luya ginger as part of uh, the ginisa and uh, our uh, garlic plus the onions here. And of course the rice that we will mix. So this is a pretty basic uh, uh, recipe that uh, we Filipinos will always cook um, during uh, you know breakfast uh, or uh, dawn time celebration of uh, uh, Mañanita for birthdays, you know, um, a complete meal by itself. Uh, you have the protein source uh, from the chicken or sometimes they make use of um, uh, what they call as toalia and that is termed now as uh, um, uh, what is this? The lugo that is made from toalla would be this a ter special term for that. But today we are going to prepare uh, the arroz caldo uh, with chicken. We did this like uh, two Sundays ago in Davao City. We were able to f to feed um, about thirty malnourished kids in uh, the sanctuary along the Orange Grove Drive in Matina Pangi, now um, we realize that we can also do the same thing with the with the malnourished kids in the evacuation center here in Pasig. Well, uh, the Beautiful Heart Foundation has very limited funds, more so that <coughs> excuse me, um, our funds have been uh, uh, frozen. Um, and soon to be released, hopefully, by the, the PDIC because of the legacy scam that happened like in November. Um, so I'm still trying to recover most of our uh, funds uh, from the for, uh, closed uh, rural bank of the RBCI, now under the receivership of uh, the PDIC. So far, we have only claimed.